You can't expect to win a trophy like that. You can't. We deserve to lose. We deserve to, we deserve to lose. Now, smash and grab is possible. Gid is possible. Get it done. You can argue Gid. But you still need a level of performance to get it done. Ivory Coast, since they got a local coach, shout out to Fire, since they got a coach and they changed things, they've been the best team in this tournament. Because this is rare. This doesn't always happen. Where the best team who plays the best football wins the tournament. Ivory Coast have arguably been as they've... They got better and better and better. But my... I do not think Nigeria had two shots on targets. I believe... I believe Nigeria had two shots on target. Did you really think you were going to get away with a 1-0 against the host nation who have been building up a mom on momentum and when you know their story? Because Ivory Coast were amazing. Is it Adingra? Adingra has been one of the players of the tournament. He was superb. And bro, let's not even talk about the incredible Ale story. From what he was diagnosed with, I think it was leukemia, coming through through that, missing that penalty for Dortmund, and to score the winning goal in the semi-final and score the winning goal in the final and that kind of a goal, that's Disney+. Plus. This has been a Disney+. Plus plus plus. When you think of the Ivory Coast story and the Sebastian Ale story. I mean, my gosh, how could you write it any better of Ivory Coast winning when you saw where they came from and Ale scoring the winning goal? We're going to have the all discussion. We have it. He didn't have a good tournament. We didn't have a good tournament, but there's someone... Do you know how trash we were in that final? Any Nigerian, if you want to be honest with yourself, do you know how bad we are? And let's keep it a stack. The defense has been money. The defense has been money. We have not played well at all. And playing like this is not sustainable. It's not sustainable. Because do you want to keep it real? We are Africans trying to play like Europeans. Ivory Coast, we're Africans playing like Africans. Because they've got an African coach. Shout out to Pesero, but Pesero is a European trying to get Africans to play a European brand of football. And what's won? Africans, coached by an African, won the African Nations Cup. That is what happened. <laughs> that is what happened. Because when you look at the way the Africans were playing and just the kind of, the, the direction, the belief, the, the, the hearts, there was, there was just more fiber in their soul than... It seemed who are sitting with every man with a child behind, hoping for a lucky break or a set piece to win. The we deserve to lose. If you're being real, of course it's 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 hard to lose. You're in the final and you want to win. But when you step back, do you know how do you know how horrible we were? Do you know how horrible, bro? You, two shots, two attempts. Do you, there was no attack. Osimhen was trash. Yes, he was, he was. He's had a crap tournament. He's had a crap tournament. And my only Lord in heaven knows what the abuse that Osimhen is now going to take now. Because your stock has... I mean... But shout out to Ivory Coast, man. And Fire, what's his story? Because Fire, the, the coaching job he did with his team is outstanding. And the victory here is a victory for local coaches and trust in local coaches. Because that is what they should do. Trust in Africans to play an African brand of football. So, like that vid, subscribe, head over to the official website, and watch for a live post-match.